hey welcome back to cooking the rounds channel and for you today I have a lot of requests for shrimp so what have I chosen buttered garlic shrimp so easy so tasty and so wonderful everybody's gonna love you for it and it's only done in minutes so let's get going here Oh, look at the shrimp that I have here. Absolutely awesome. And please make sure that they're deveined. That means they have removed the vein from the back here. And I want you to get the shrimp that has the shell on. You don't need the head, but make sure it has the shell. Because in the shell, that is where the taste is going to come from. I know it's a lot of work to peel to eat the shrimp, but you are got to find out that it's well worth it. Grab yourself a large pan, add about two to three tablespoons of olive oil. Wait until that gets hot and now let's start adding the shrimp. Now I want the shrimp flat on the pan, please do not overcrowd it. If you have to do in two or three batches, please go ahead. Now let this side go for four to six minutes and we shall be back. Okay, one side is done, so let's now turn it over very gently, one at a time, just like this, so we get some even cooking throughout. If you could just notice, oh, this shrimp is absolutely good and absolutely awesome. So, now what I want you to do is add four to five cloves of garlic or more. Make your life easier by using this little mishmasher here. And just let's mix this up just a little bit like this to get the garlic all around even. And now let's add some fresh pepper. Add as much as you want. Now here I'm adding about half a cup of my favorite beer. But if you want, you can add half a cup of white wine. And that will work out just as fine. And to give it that sweetness, two tablespoons of honey. Now, let this simmer for a couple of minutes. Let's now toss it around to make sure that everything gets well mixed and blended just like this. And now, here it comes. I want you to add one third cup of salted butter. Now at this point it's very important to remove the shrimp into another container because I do not want to overcook the shrimp. Now let's reduce the liquid and flame on high and when it reaches the point that you can do this with your spoon and it shows these marks just like this you know it is ready and done. Return the shrimp back to the pan. Let's add some squirts of lemon juice. Add as much as you want. And now I want you to add about one quarter cup of fresh parsley. And let's just move it all around. Make sure your heat is low at this point because guess what? It's basically ready. And now let's get close up and just see how this looks. Now if you think that this is teasing you, Wait until you see the taste test. It's going to be awesome. Okay, here we go. Oh, look at that. And the sauce on the bottom. I'm going to use a knife and fork just for manners. Usually I just use my fingers. Now, let's remove the shell. And, you know, like I said, it's important to have the shell because the shell gives the taste to the sauce. And with a little bit of practice, you know, it will come off very very easy so now I will continue to enjoy this awesome shrimp and I hope you will try this for yourself for your friends and family and once again it's goodbye and thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you again very soon on my next cooking video goodbye from Tony and cooking around